Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. This week I am going to be making a bunch of budget-friendly dinners. They're healthier whole food meals. And last week, if you didn't see last week's video, I shared our meal plan and grocery list that I do. And um, so we got our groceries and then that was actually recorded yesterday. But today I'm going to actually be cooking those meals and showing you what we actually eat. And I actually cook like this most of the time, but I do fancier recipes once or twice a week for my food blog. And for that, I have to spend a little bit more money getting fresh herbs, getting the right spices, getting extra ingredients sometimes in order to get the food to look delicious and get it the way that I want it for my photos. So I will invest a little bit more usually in one or two meals a week. And then the rest of the week we eat mostly like this, what I'm going to show you right now. But we have to eat a little more uh, budget friendly this week. And so we're eating more basic meals this week. Usually like for example, I'm going to be making a sheet pan meal. And I might put like some more root vegetables in there. But this week I just kept it really simple with just potatoes as you'll see. And so tonight I am making a Middle Eastern recipe. It's called Kima. And it's pretty basic, but it does require a few spices. I already have these spices in my kitchen because I do so much food blogging. But for some people you might have to pare down the spices. So in a second here I'm going to be making it. And it includes sweet potato, green beans, tomato, and ground beef with spices. You make it all in one pot. And I was gonna make a double batch tonight. I typically make a double batch, but I accidentally did not order enough sweet potatoes when I ordered sweet potatoes. So I'm going to make one serving of it, but typically I make a double batch. To make the quinoa, you start by browning some ground beef. And then while that's browning, I always chop up my sweet potatoes. And you want them chopped up into small chunks, as small as you can get them, because you are going to be basically steaming these. So if you have them in big chunks, it's gonna take a long time to cook. And then once the ground beef is ready, I add in the sweet potatoes, the diced tomatoes, and some green beans. And then you're gonna mix those all up before adding the spices. I really like this meal. It's really simple and it's all in one pot. There's a lot less mess. And the leftovers are pretty good, especially we've had them in for breakfast with eggs and they taste really good as leftovers. And as far as the spices go, I add salt, turmeric, curry powder, cumin, ginger, and then I just make sure that's all stirred up really well before adding the lid. And then you're gonna let it steam. There's some moisture in the in the tomatoes, potatoes, and that will help to basically steam this. And it takes about 20, maybe 30 minutes to steam. And we just love this recipe. I like to make it frequently. It's a easy but healthy recipe. So if I didn't mention this before, I like to typically double the recipes. So in this video, I'm showing you four recipes, but actually it's eight meals, eight dinners. So doubling the recipes just makes sense because it saves you time and you don't have to think as much about cooking and you don't have to be cooking every single night. Now the next recipe I made was a beef and broccoli stir fry, I guess you could say. And it is really delicious, it's Asian inspired, and I make it with a little bit of rice to help stretch the meal a little more. And basically you brown the ground beef and you steam the broccoli at the same time. Then once they are both ready, I combine them and I add Chinese five spice, some salt and coconut aminos. It makes it nice and juicy, but flavorful. 
And at the same time, I am cooking some rice in the Instant Pot. The Instant Pot cooks rice really fast, like within 20 minutes or so. So it's really convenient. I can get this whole meal on the table in about 30 minutes, maybe 40. And I like to top off the bowl with a little bit of sesame seeds. And this is another one that we make pretty regularly. Now this night for dinner, I am making a sheet pan style meal, all one pan. Um, you do have to boil the potatoes a little bit first in order to soften them. And the sausage we're using is already cooked, so it doesn't require a long cook time. Sausage usually cooks pretty quick anyway. You only have to put it in the oven for about 10 minutes, um, but the potatoes do need to be boiled first and chopped. So that's what I'm doing here. And once the potatoes are ready, I'm going to be throwing them in a pan. You could use a baking dish and I'm gonna be combining them with the sausage. And the sausage that I'm using is a uncured beef sausage. It's organic beef with some spices, so it's healthy. It looks like hot dogs, as you'll see, but it's not hot dogs. And make sure when you're chopping up sausages, especially if you're serving this to little kids, make sure that you chop them up into little pieces to avoid a choking hazard. So I season this with salt, thyme, sage, and paprika, and it's very savory and wholesome. So I just wanted to share real quick that this is a cheaper base version of the usual recipe that I make and normally I would add like cauliflower or some type of root veggies like carrots, turnips, parsnips, beets. I like to sometimes add cauliflower or Brussels sprouts and then you can also add things like mustard or you can add mayonnaise. My husband, my husband likes to do that because it adds a little bit more oomph. It makes you feel a little more full. Or you could put shredded cheese on it. So there are different options for this recipe. Top the meal with some tiny sauerkraut. Make sure you add the sauerkraut after cooking because otherwise it's gonna defeat the purpose of getting some raw probiotics in your diet. So then I just top it with a tiny sauerkraut and it's absolutely delicious. So for our last night's dinner, I made chili and I started by browning the ground beef. And while I was doing that, I had already soaked some kidney beans and I was cooking them in my Instant Pot. And the Instant Pot cooks them, when they're already soaked, they cook in like less than 20 minutes, so it's really nice. And I poured that into the Instant Pot. And I like to use the Instant Pot when I'm making a double batch of this recipe because it's a nice big, large pot. And I mixed in the beans and the ground beef, and then I added tomato sauce. Uh, for If you're making one batch of this, you'll want one pound of ground beef, um, a couple cups of kidney beans, one can of tomato sauce, two cans of diced tomatoes, and some minced garlic, and then salt, cumin, chili powder, cayenne pepper, and I don't really know the exact amounts of the seasonings, but I just kind of eyeball it. And you can also taste it as well. 
and then I just stir it together and then I let it cook for about 10 minutes or so until the flavors start to combine a little bit. I never have to worry about thickening it. It just naturally is thick on its own. And it's a very simple traditional dinner. And my kids love it and it tastes great with some cornbread or you could serve it with some sour cream or cheese on top. And it's really, really warming, especially as the weather starts to cool down. Thank you guys again for watching. Please be sure to like, share, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys again soon. Be well, guys.